What's up everybody, today I'm going to walk you through a quick little guide. It's not going to be a tutorial because I already fixed it the other day, but a friend of mine thought his kid messed up his PlayStation 4, uh, started making a horrible spinning noise like there was a disc trying to get out and it just wasn't going to happen. Came up with an error message on the screen and his controller wouldn't work at all. He was furious. I said, don't worry about it. If it's got an error message, there's a way to fix it. And of course, there's a way to fix it. The only thing you have to do is just boot it in safe mode. Now, what the problem actually was, was that um, the system's not being able to find the correct update file. Sounds simple enough. So just start it in safe mode. Unplug it, okay? Find the controller. Plug in the controller. Plug it into the PlayStation 4. Plug the PlayStation 4 back in. Press and hold the power button. Hold it for seven seconds, you're gonna hear two beeps. Now I did this twice. The first time I didn't the first time I did hear two beeps. The second time I did not hear two beeps, but I just went for seven seconds and then stopped and it came up like it should. Now this may or may not happen to you. The entire time it was making a horrible, horrible spinning noise like it's trying to eject a disc. That may or may not happen to you, I'm not sure. But once it comes up in safe mode, and it may take you one or two tries to get it in safe mode, that's fine. But once it comes up in safe mode, you'll have a couple options. You know, restart, change resolution, blah, 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 blah. I tried to restart the PlayStation 4. Maybe it just had a bad shutdown and needed to come back up. All right, well, that didn't fix it, so I had to boot it in safe mode again, okay? And I went to update system software. Well, that didn't fix it either, so you know what? I'm getting fed up. I'm just going to restart it, you know, reinitialize the PlayStation 4. So I booted it one more time in safe mode, went down to number 7, initialize PlayStation 4, reinstall system software, and it took it maybe 3, 4 minutes total to come back up, and it was totally fine, totally fixed, no problems, and his son did not get in trouble. So that's the main thing here. It is completely... 100% an easy fix. All you got to do is just boot it in safe mode and you'll probably want to go through the different steps, trial and error, like to see if maybe they will work for you or just go directly to number seven, initialize PlayStation 4, reinstall system software. And that should do it. So there's a quick guide on how to fix it. It's not really a tutorial because I've already fixed it, but you do know this works because it works. So y'all have a good one.